Hi everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do a Mulan inspired makeup tutorial when she was a bride for the matchmaker. Before we get started, I did my brows and base with my regular foundation that matches my skin tone off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be in the description below, plus this is all drugstore and affordable. My dress. If you can see part of it is from winners it has a zipper and it looks good on me good on me that's the one that I can find that's in my spring and summer collection enough chit chat let's get started I love princesses when I was little I like Mulan because she is a warrior and she fighted for China she saved China and took her father's place I love that and there is a play a musical that I starred in back when I was in grade 8 this is taking me way back it's called Milan Jr. Mm, I love it and that was when I was in grade 8 didn't know that it brought me down memory lane Milan took place in ancient China during the northern dynasty that's what I saw online. This time I'm doing her matchmaker outfit. I'll put a photo right here of the outfit that I'm using. There is a lot of outfits that Mulan wears and my favorite one is the matchmaker outfit or the bride one. That one right over there. I like the 1998 cartoon the 2020 live action film was all right. I seen parts of it. Yeah, so that's an all right film. On to the makeup. For eye primer, I took the hard candy one. I love ancient China makeup. Well, of course the women are very pale. I love that. And it's using a lot of colors. The palette I'm using is the Makeup Revolution X Tammy Tropical Caramel Palette. I'll put a photo right here. For the crease, I'm taking the purple shade, if I can pick it up on camera. It's called Girlies. I have to memorize it off camera on the crease. I'm taking this purple called Girlies. I might need to build it up because it's a purple. And I'm using a tapered blending brush by Best Hill from Amazon. Taking a little bit more of what I can do. Once I have enough pigment, I'm going to blend it in using this tapered blending brush. The colors that Mulan has for her bride look is purple red and pink that's what i'm going to do and i'm using a pink a red tinted lip balm that's what i'm going to do for the lower wash line i'm taking trey from the makeup revolution the x tammy tropical carnival palette it's a beautiful red this might need building up the brush i'm using is the best taupe small eyebrow brush. It fits perfectly on the lower lash line. It's angled. Angled brushes can fit perfectly on the lower lash line. That's why I'm using it. It's not just for the brows. You can use it on the lower lash line to apply eyeshadow. Did you know that red was used in ancient China? That's why red was a popular color in history. I have enough pigment so I'm not dipping back. For the lid, I'm taking pink pamper from the same palette. It's that beautiful pink. I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Just applying it to my lid hoping that I don't get fallout. That is so beautiful with the contrast of the 
pink, purple, and red. So that's fry look that Milan has. Making sure that I get an even coat of this pink with minimal fallout. For eyeliner, which I'm a little bit scared of, I'm taking the Beauty Runway Liquid Eyeliner. I shook it off camera, and I'm doing a wing, a tiny wing. For this case, I like to do a Mulan flick. That's what we're doing. I like to start in the middle when I do eyeliner. Oh crap, I messed up. I'm not good at liquid eyeliner. So I'll start in the middle. And this cheap liquid eyeliner dries matte, which I like. But any liquid eyeliner will work. Drugstore, whatever. Oh crap, I'm... I messed up, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then do a Mulan flick. Around there. It doesn't have to be even. But that's what I'm gonna achieve. For the inner corner highlight, I'm taking Nothing Hill. Just using my middle finger. I always keep breaking nails off camera for some reason. I'm going to apply some mascara, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. I didn't use lash primer because Mulan is a warrior. I didn't want to give her long batty lashes. That's what I like to call it. For blush, it's essential. I'm taking the Color Institute palette, and I'm using this pink shade. It's a matte. And I am applying it using my Equal Tools Full Blush Brush. That's a lot of pigment. I love it. To give that rosy glow. Applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Around there. I look like a porcelain doll when I use pink blush. For lips, I'm taking the Maybelline Fabulous and Cherry Me. Here is the completed look. It looks good. For the palette, I use the Makeup Revolution X Tanley Tropical Carbol Palette. I use Girlies on the crease. Trinin on the lid, pink pamper, well, Trinin on the lower lash line, pink pamper on the lid. I suck at doing liquid eyeliner, but it's to get that move on thick flick. And I used pink blush and a light tinted lip balm, well, it's red. So, stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.